How do you look cool falling? And better yet, how do you look real cool getting up? Well, there's always this joke with me that um, I seem more interested in my hair than anything else. So if you just Have keep you smiling, <laughs> just keep flicking the hair, you know, like nobody will notice. Hair flips, twizzles, lifts, jumps, routines. All things we've seen a lot of in the past two weeks in the Olympics. But you don't have to wait four more years to see this high caliber talent. Whoa! Whoa! Gee, did you see that? This is a rehearsal of the Ice Theater of New York. We are the first uh, not-for-profit ice dance ensemble in the nation. We have a lot of former national, world, and Olympic skaters. We competed for the UK. Um, we won the national championship seven times over there and competed in two Olympic Games, 2006 in Torino and 2010 in Vancouver. I was in the Olympics in 92 for friends in Albertville and I was the youngest athlete um, at the Olympics over there. When you're somewhere like this and you're working more with ice theater, it's a little bit more relaxed, but also it's a little bit more concentrated on the artistic side of things, so that's a lot of fun for us. Ice Theater of New York also offers them a chance to learn from each other. Galeen has made me get down on my edges and try and skate. She's a little bit more of the dancer. I was a little bit more of the acrobat and just trick person. A chance to share their knowledge with the next generation of skaters. I heard you're like an apprentice, right? I am. I'm 11. A very long time. I mean, yeah. my suits are older than you. <laughs> and a chance to give back to the community. For 19 years, we've been doing a program up at Riverbank State Park uh, for public school children. They come in um, to watch a short performance of the professionals as well as up and coming ice artists. And then following that's a free uh, skating clinic. What can they get from this? Uh, without being an Olympic athlete. Oh, I mean, I think it teaches you a lot about discipline and about if you practice something and spend the time on it, that you can actually learn something that's, that's really valuable. Do you have any interest at all in seeing me skate? That would be amazing. Who's going to lift me? <laughs> I'll lift you. Okay. And who takes me to the hospital? Maybe well, you'll more. Take her. You're probably for her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a couple of moves in Zamboni, clean the ice. You'll see a double reverse hard press. A flip in midair with a stick of six. I laced up, I stood up with some help and made my way to the ice. And that's about as far as this weatherman got or wanted to go. Your next opportunity to check out these sensational skaters is at 1 p.m. on February the 26th at Rockefeller Center. Open to the public, all free City Skate Concert Series. Um, what was that word again? Clinic. Free. No, it's free too. Huh? The experience though is rich with complexities, culture, and creativity. Oh yeah, and lots of conditioner. One, two. <laughs>